Hi everybody. Today we will talk about parametric equations and plane curves. I will try to give you some uh, basic information. I will try to give you some idea about the parametric equations. And uh, the uh, lecture will based on these the four uh, questions. Uh, we will try uh, uh, to answer these questions uh, by using some examples. First of all, uh, the answer of why we need a parameter. I want to give you two examples. We have a unit circle in Cartesian coordinates. Unit circle, the formula is x squared plus y squared 1, as you know. And I want to define a motion of a particle on this circle. OK, these are are four points who cuts the coordinates and first of all I have a particle which begins from here goes in the clockwise sense and ends up here on the same circle I have another motion which is described like the same unit circle but here the particle, we have the same points, the origin here, but here my particle begins from here, goes in the counterclockwise and makes all the tar turn and comes to the beginning point. These two different motions cannot be explained by the uh, functions in terms of x and y by the, by the Cartesian uh, coordinate ex, uh, equations. Uh, we can define for this we need parameters and uh, we need also a parameter interval. For this problem, for example, we need x equals sine t. Why sine t? Because t is my parameter, because circles can be defined in terms of sines and cosines. That's why I need. One of the uh, principles to uh, use parametric equations is to end up with the Cartesian equation. This, we have y equals cosine t. Here, sine square t plus cosine square t, which corresponds to x square plus y square, will be equal to 1. It satisfies the Cartesian equation. Then we need a parameter which will describe my uh, movement, my motion. Then I begin as t equals 0. When t is uh, equals 0, it should give me the initial point, which is 0, 1. When uh, t is equal to 0, I have sine x equals 0. And cosine 0 is, uh, okay, let's write it. Sine 0 equals 0 and cosine 0 is equal to 1. I have the point 0, 1, which is here. When t is equal to pi over 2, i supposed to have an interval like this because it came here and I know that this is pi over 2 and pi over 2, it goes like pi angle. And then I try what will be uh, the parameters uh, when t is equal to pi over 2. x is equal to x was sine. Sine at pi over 2 is 1. And cosine at pi over 2, the y value, is equal to 0. Then I came here to the point 1, 0, which is right. It describes me the direction and the second point. And when for the last point t is equal to p, I have x equals uh, sine pi is 0 and cosine pi is minus 1. I end up with 0 minus 1 point, which is my terminal point. And this motion is described with these parametric equations and this parameter interval. Let's come here. For this example, I suggest we have the same equation. We have to satisfy the same equation, but the initial point and the direction is different. That's why I suggest to parameterize it like x equals cosine and y equals sine t. 
And for the t-parameter interval, I suggest, because it's make one tour, turn, and I suggest this parameterization. Let's check if it is right. Uh, for t equals 0, I have x equals 1, y equals 0, because cosine 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 0. For t, which is the point 1, 0 here, and my initial point, at uh, pi equals to, I have cosine, which is equal to 0, and y is equal to 1. I have my second point. At t equals pi, I have x equals minus 1, and y equals 0. Uh, this is my third point here. And the direction also is given by this interval. And at t equals 3 pi over 2, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1. And uh, this is my third point here. And at t equals 2 pi, I have x equals 1 and y equals 0, which will give me my initial point, which corresponds to the uh, my terminal point, which co corresponds to the initial point. Uh, that's why we need parameters and we need parameter intervals to uh, identify the motion of a particle in the, in the same uh, curve. It may be in the same curve. Okay, I want to uh, also uh, show these types of curves. Okay, it's not a function. I cannot define it as a function because you know we have the test, the uh, vertical line test. If a vertical line cross the curve twice, more than one time, it's not a function. We can write like that. Okay. Here also we need parametrization. As you see from the examples, for par uh, parametric equations, uh, we need the parametric equations defines an initial point, a di direction, and a terminal point. Here we have the definition. If x and y are given as functions, x a function of t with t is a parameter, y a fu another function of t over an interval of t values, then the set of points x equals y, ft, and gt defined by these equations is a parametric curve. The equations are parametric equations for the curve. And uh, the variable t is a parameter and its domain is i. This domain uh, uh, is uh, the interval a and b. It's a closed interval. If it is a closed interval, this, uh, the first point t equals a will give me the initial point and the second one will give me the terminal point. Now let's do some examples about that. First question is define the parameter particles motion x equals y. Now they gave us the parametric equation and they ask me how to define the motion. Here x equals cosine t, y equals minus sine t and their square will give me still 1, and it's a unit circle, okay? And, but, but the t interval is from 0. Let's have a look. When t is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 0. When t is equal to, on this interval, from 0 to pi, we have pi over 2. When x, t is equal to pi over 2, as equal equals to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 and when t the terminal uh, value of t is pi when a, t is equal to pi x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. Now we have the first point the initial point 1 0 which is here then we have 0 minus 1 which is here and 1 0 is here. My uh, direction is clockwise and the initial point and terminal point is here. This is the answer of this question. Let's uh, go going on, on the second one, the B part. Here, as you notice, the coefficient of cosine and sine are not equal. If, when we have this type of uh, parametric equation, we can understand that this is 
corresponds to an ellipse. X square is cosine square t and y square four sine square t. Then x square over 16, y square over 4 will be equal to 1. This is an ellipse. Let's have a look what is the motion. When t is equal to 0, we have x, okay, we have x equals 4 cosine t, y equals 2 sine t, and the interval is between t and pi. When t is equal to 0, we have x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0. When t is equal to pi over 2, we have uh, x equals 0 and y is equal to 2. And when t is equal to pi, t is equal to pi, we have x is equal to minus 4 and y is equal to 0. Let's have a look. Let's sketch the graph of the ellipse. Here we have uh, 4 minus 4, 2 minus 2, something like that. We have the y and x. Then uh, the motion begins from the point 4, 0, which is here. And the second point is 0, 2, which is here. It's counterclockwise motion. And the terminal point comes here. This is the motion, okay? And uh, for the second one, as you see, it's not a circle. It's not also a second question. It's not a circle, it's not an ellipse, it's a parabola. They gave us a parabola. It goes around y equals x squared. We have this parabola, y equals x squared. But it begins from the origin here and it goes along the right branch of the parabola. We don't need the left branch. And it ends up at the point three. Okay, when we parameterize it like x equals t and y equals t square, then it corresponds to the Cartesian, to the equation of the Cartesian coordinates. And uh, I need a parameter interval, which is when t is equal to zero, it will give me the origin. And when the end value of t, the final value of t, will give me the terminal point, which t, when t is equal to 3, it will give me the 3 by uh, 9, this point. And this parameterization will give me the answer of this second question. And what about the parameterization of a line segment? I will try to write it here. The parameterization of a line segment is the sec question three, okay, we have here. Uh, X equals the initial point as minus two plus AT and Y equals one plus BT. Here, why I am writing like this? Be because when t will be equal to zero, then I will begin. I will uh, obtain my initial point. That's why uh, it's easier to compute like this. I just uh, define by myself the interval of t. When t equals to zero, it will give me the initial point, and when t is equal to one, it will give me the terminal point, which is three five. Let's. But a, b, I don't know what are there. I have to find them. Then we have this when t when t is equal to one. Uh, we have a from here a is equal to five. Five is equal to one plus b, and from here I end up with b equals four. And then I find my uh, equations five t y equals 1 plus 4t, and t is between 0 and 1. You can, it's up to you, you can also define another interval, you will find another equation. It means that we have more than one equation for the parameterization of a line segment, but notice that the, uh, it will be different equation, different interval, but the ratio of B over A should give me always the slope of the line segment. Okay, B over A will be equal 
to the slope of the line. This is important. I tried to give you some ideas, uh, uh, some notions about the parametric equations and plane curves. Here we have the standard parameterization of the circle ellipse as we did the examples and the functions. We did also an example about the function, uh, the example was about the parabola. Just a glimpse of uh, idea about this subject. If you want to learn more, you have to read more. Thank you for listening.